this video is sponsored by Envato Elements. When I'm editing in Final Cut Pro, I like to stay within the software as much as possible. However, sometimes you need to jump out of the software to grab some smoke effects or lens flares, something along those lines. That is until today. Now this was suggested to me by a patron, John Kuhn, in my Discord. He actually showed me how to do this and I thought it was really, really useful. So thank you, John, for pointing this out. Go ahead and open up photos. This step is super important. Go up into your photos preferences and locate this checkbox, copy items to the photo library. You'll wanna make sure that that is unchecked and that is because it will duplicate any items that are brought into the photos library, thus taking up all your storage space. So just make sure that's unchecked. After that, go into your finder and locate whatever folder you wanna bring in. Now I should mention this doesn't work with alpha channel assets, unfortunately. But what we're gonna do is locate these amazing light leaks from my friends over at Envato Elements who sponsored this video. Hold up, did somebody say sponsor? Envato Elements is changing the game with their incredible subscription service. They offer unlimited access to over 55 million assets. I don't know if you realize how large of a number that is. It is ginormous. They offer fonts, photos, stock footage, music, sound effects, WordPress themes, Final Cut Pro, and Motion 5 templates. They offer a super simple license and your license still counts even after your subscription has ended. If you follow the link in the description, you will get 50% off when selecting the annual subscription. Do yourself a favor, my friends, level up your video editing library and get Envato Elements today. We're just gonna drag that into the My Albums. So now this folder will appear in Final Cut Pro. All we need to do is open up Final Cut, jump over into this section that shows the music and the photos, and we'll change this over to My Albums. And right here, you can see that I have the light leaks. Now, if I click on that, we can see all of these light leaks showing up in real time in Final Cut Pro. So I can drag these down to the timeline as I need, just like so. And this works with just about any asset type. So I'm gonna bring in some film grain. We'll get this 4K grain texture here and I'll bring that over into my albums. And so now I'll need to reload Final Cut for this to show up. Go ahead and reload it. Go into my photos. And now we can see we have this grain folder, which I can just bring down into my timeline just like so. We could add a blend mode to it do whatever we need to do. So hopefully this is helpful to you. These are always gonna show up in every project you have, so you don't need to duplicate libraries over, hopefully saving you a step. So again, thank you, John, for pointing this out to me over in the Discord server. And with that being said, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you wanna know how you can bring your own sound effects into Final Cut Pro, check out this video right here. It's a little bit different. And with that being said, I can't wait to see you in the next one.